Esther chapter 9, verse 1. Esther chapter 9, verse 1. It says, now in the twelfth month, that is the month of Adar, uh, on the thirteenth day, the time came for the king's command and his decree to be ex executed. On the day that the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them, the opposite occurred, in that the Jews themselves overpowered those who hated them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now in the twelfth month, that is the month of Adar, on the thirteenth day, the time came for the king's command and his decree to be executed. On the day that the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them, the opposite occurred in that the Jews themselves overpowered those who hated them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yesterday's word and much word we've been seeing is about persecution, either currently happening or persecution to come towards God's people. The enemy has a plan. We may see it unfolding uh, out there in the world today. The persecution of the church, uh, the enemy has a plan to destroy God's children. The true Jews are the ones who believe like Abraham did, and the enemy wants to destroy us all. He has a plan to do it, but God has a greater plan, and he is going to turn the table, and it's us who will be the ones to overpower the enemy that wants to destroy us. Um, the spiritual forces of darkness and the people that God, although the enemy is using against us, he is going to cause us to fight back. As it says later in the, in the chapter, uh, it says, thus the Jews defeated all their enemies with the stroke of the sword, with slaughter and destruction, and did what they pleased with those who hated them. And what is that sword? Hebrews 4 says, The word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So it's true. God will prepare us. And on the day when the enemy expects to destroy his pe uh, God's people, God's people will turn with the sword of the word and overpower all the enemy. And the people who are being used will be slayed to their knees and they will be just like the 3,000 that heard Pastor uh, the senior uh, St. Peter's first sermon uh, who were cut to the heart through the, the sword of the word and said, what should we do? And they said, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And there 3,000 souls were saved. That's what's coming, brothers and sisters. You not worry about the plans of the enemy, but trust in God who's going to turn the tables and the kingdom of God will rise up and forever stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we just thank you for this word today. Give us the faith to believe you, to believe this word is coming. It's going to be uh, repeated again in the days that we live in today. Give us our eyes on you and not on the enemy or anything else, and we'll see this day come to pass. Praise the Lord. Thank you for this word, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord.